Hi, I'm Andrew with Infinity Cutting Tools. We get asked all the time questions about building interior and exterior doors, so we built this one here in our shop. Let me show you how I built this door so that you can build one in your shop. The first step in building a door is to determine the overall size. My door needed to fit an opening that was 30 inches wide by 80 inches tall and was designed to hold a 1 and 3 8 inch thick door. I built the door with a shaker rail and style profile and a standard raised panel and I wanted to include extended tenons for strength and also build the door with a glass window. So I designed the door to accept an insulated glass unit and include two raised panels below it. With the design complete, it's time to take our raw lumber and lay out each of our pieces. I marked and labeled each of my pieces, then took them to the miter saw and cut them to rough length. With my pieces cut to length, I take them to the joiner to produce one flat surface. The reason we join our lumber first is to get one side of the board perfectly flat, straight, and eliminate any cupping or twisting. You can see here I've already made two passes on one of my panel pieces, and at this end I still have a little bit of cup that I need to eliminate. If we were to just go straight to the planer, we may get a flat surface, but it may still have some bow or twist to the board. The joiner eliminates this and gives us a perfectly flat piece of wood. Now we take our material to the planer and plane it to rough thickness just until we remove the sawmill marks. Now it's back to the joiner to get one straight square edge. Finally, we head to the table saw and rip our pieces to rough width, producing our fourth and final flat and square edge. With our rough milling complete, we want to let our material sit for a few days and acclimate to its new shape. Then we can repeat the milling process again and bring our material to its final thickness and width. Once we've done that, we can take the material back to the table saw and cut all our pieces to final length, ready for joinery. To cut my pieces to final length, I'm using an 80 tooth ultra smooth blade to get a perfect splinter free cut. And I'm also using an Inkra Miter 5000. This allows me to use stops on the fence of the sled so that I know all my pieces will be exactly the same length and I'll have a nice straight square door. Because my styles are so long, I'm not able to use the stops on the sled, so I used the clamp and positioned my material, clamped it down, and then cut my styles to length. Now all our pieces are to final length, width, and thickness. In part two, I'll show you how to set up and use the Infinity Door Making Rail and Style Router Bit Set, and we'll cut the extended tenons and mortises for our door. 